Hi, I'm Gene Parenti from Golf Laboratories and I would like to talk to you today about driver loft. It's interesting, when I speak to a lot of amateur golfers, I'll ask them what driver they're playing. A lot of them know the driver name, they know the company who manufactures it. When I mine a little deeper and ask them for the flex of the shaft, they start getting a little wobbly and a lot of times they have no idea what the loft of the club is. The loft of the driver head is really critical to not only your swing style, but also your overall distance. It's very simple. You look at the back of your club and you get a loft designation. Lofts are in degrees and they vary as low as seven and a half degrees and they can go up with the driver to 13, 14 degrees. The loft angle of your driver is critical in regard to velocity. And what I mean by that is, if you're swinging at 60 miles per hour, you need as much loft as possible. With the robot behind me, we've done mapping of sets from 60 to 120 miles an hour. And what we found, which is kind of interesting, is if you swing below 80 miles per hour, you probably should be playing a three wood off the tee, not a driver, because the loft of the three wood is actually advantageous to getting the ball in the air. Once you get over 80 miles an hour, you can start looking at a driver and the length of the driver and the weight of the driver to maximize your distance. But even then, you want to go to a weaker loft angle. As you increase in velocity and get up to say 90 miles an hour, you probably can get down to about a 10 degree loft and then when you get up to 100, 110, 120, that's when you start seeing the 9 degree lofts and um, 8 and 7 degree lofts. Now, loft is a function as well of swing path and attack angle. If you have a outside in or a negative attack angle, you want as much loft as possible. If you have an inside out or a positive attack angle, you want less loft because your swing arc is actually helping you maximize that launch. That's number one, but number two is velocity. And the slower your swing speed is, the more loft you need. The faster your swing speed is generally, the less loft you need. Once again, the best way to look at that, if the ball goes out low and rises, you more than likely do not have enough loft on your driver. If you get a nice high ball that does not flare at the end, but has more of a parabolic shape, then you more than likely have a very well lofted driver. Ultimately, it would be best if you use a launch monitor, but you can use those two tips to find out what your best loft is.